In this video, I'll show you how to turn a simple logo into stunning 3D visuals and animations using tools like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Runway, and more. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this. All right, the very first thing we're going to do is take a sample logo, just a simple example that we'll be using throughout this video. Around this logo, I'll walk you through the entire process, from crafting the animation to creating a static 3D version. We'll be using a pre-made template from Freepik. I'll do a bit of preparation work on it first because the focus here isn't on typography or full branding, just on the logo shape itself. Personally, I'm not a big fan of combining 3D text with a logo icon. It often ends up looking cheap or cluttered, so we'll avoid that. To isolate the logo icon, I'll use Photoshop. It's quick and gives us exactly what we need for the next steps. The first tool we're going to test out is ChatGPT. It's one of the most powerful tools available right now for creating consistent text prompts, generating faces, and experimenting with a variety of shapes and design styles. Once we upload our logo, I'll ask ChatGPT to create a 3D version of it with a balloon-like effect, with a cinematic feel to the overall design. Let's give it a moment to generate. All right, this version looks pretty good, but I'd still prefer something a little brighter and more cinematic overall. The shape is fine. It fits the general theme I have in mind but I'll ask GPT to refine the version based on these adjustments. And there we go. You can clearly see the difference. This version feels a lot closer to what I had in mind. You can easily do the same with your own logo. Just play around with different prompts and see where it takes you. It's fun and surprisingly effective. I'll do one more test now, this time asking for a 3D version with a metallic texture. That'll give it a different visual character. Let's wait for the result. And wow. That came out really nice. The quality is actually impressive. This time I'll ask GPT to take the style from an existing logo image and apply that same style to our selected logo. It'll take a few minutes to generate, so let's hang tight and see what it gives us. Not bad at all. What do you think? The overall shape is preserved, and I really like how it captured the glowing effect around the logo. All right, now it's time for what I personally consider the best method in this whole process. It gives us more creative freedom and opens the door to a more artistic interpretation than just using GPT alone. This method combines ChatGPT and the latest Midjourney V7. First, we'll ask ChatGPT to generate a 3D version of our logo from a slightly different angled perspective. That looks solid, we can definitely work with it. Now we take that output over to Midjourney. Next, I'll ask GPT to generate a list of texture and scene ideas to showcase the logo in a compelling 3D environment. The output is solid, but I want even more cinematic options, things like underwater scenes or fiery dramatic backdrops. We go into Midjourney's editor mode, specifically into the retexture section. We upload our previously generated image as a reference, choose one of the suggested prompts, and hit generate. As you can see, the result keeps the logo perfectly intact and the textures are seriously high quality. It's more reliable than using GPT alone. And here's one more try, with a fiery theme this time. This one is an absolute banger in terms of visual impact. Now I'll take a random mid-journey generated logo image and import it into ChatGPT. I'll then ask GPT to replace the mid-journey logo with our original one, keeping the rest of the image intact. Let's give it a moment. And here it is. Looks good. As you can see, you can mix and match outputs from GPT and Midjourney to achieve some truly custom results. Next, we'll try out something a bit different. Runway Gen 4 with their new scene reference tool. To start, I'll use After Effects to convert our logo into a basic 3D form. I won't go into too much detail here. This is probably better suited for a separate tutorial, but you can use any 3D design software, like Blender, if you prefer. We'll grab a background photo from the internet to serve as our scene environment. We'll adjust the 3D logo so it fits nicely into the perspective and lighting of that scene. Then we move the whole setup into Runway Gen 4, using three images. The background, the composite with our logo, and a reference for the style we want. I'll keep the prompt short and clear to avoid confusion. Hit Generate. Not every output is perfect, but this one turned out really well. Clean, stylish, and very usable. Let's move on to option number seven, which is combining FreePick Reimagine with the 3D logo we generated earlier using GPT. It's very straightforward. We upload our image into the Reimagine tool, then pick a graphic style. FreePick even provides a prompt for you, 
so if you don't feel like customizing anything you can just use that and focus on switching styles. I'm testing a few different ones here and the results are quite good. I'm still leaning toward the mid-journey outputs personally, but this is solid, especially given the wide variety of styles you can try. Now let's move on to creating video content. For the first attempt, we'll use one of our static images and plug it into Higgsfield. As usual, I'll start by generating a custom prompt using a custom GPT that's specifically tuned for Higgsfield. This helps us get better, more relevant results. With our prompt ready, it's time to generate the video. I'll go with a bullet time effect here, which I think will look amazing when combined with our visual. And here it is. Looks fantastic. With some extra editing and sound design, this could become a high quality animation for real use. Next, I'll take a different image from Mid Journey and run it through a custom GPT that specializes in prompt generation for Kling. Just like before, we copy the prompt, upload it along with the image into FreePick, select Kling Model 2.0, and wait. Kling usually takes a bit longer to generate, but the results are almost always worth it. And here's the final result. Looks great. I think we made the right call separating certain styles between Higgsfield and Kling. For our final tool test, we're heading back to Runway. This time, just like before, I'll use a version of Custom GPT specifically tuned for Runway Gen 4. We'll use one of the images we generated earlier via Runway's image generator. The goal here is less about movement and more about precision, detail, and a nice slow motion effect. I'm going with a 5 second clip. Personally, the 10 second versions in Runway never really felt right to me. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. And there we go, looks decent. Not mind blowing, but solid for what we're aiming for. I still prefer some of the earlier effects though. Now I'm adding slow motion using Topaz Labs, which gives us way more control in post production, especially for speed ramping. I actually made an entire separate video just on Topaz Labs, so definitely check that out. It's a total game changer. Finally, we move into editing, sound design, color correction, and layering final effects. At this stage, everything comes together into a clean, polished product. And that's it. We've taken a basic logo and transformed it through multiple tools into cinematic 3D visuals, textures, and animations. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more creative breakdowns.